Today's story will awaken your soul. Please watch the story till the end. A Quran reciting girl died in the month of Ramadan. Even after her death, the girl was taken to the graveyard with her family for burial. But when the girl was being buried, then an incredible incident happened, which surprised everyone present. When the woman was buried by the people, something was seen in the grave, which was actually much more terrifying. People were already very sad because of the death of the girl. And it was sad because the girl was very well behaved and the villagers could hear her reciting the Quran. So everyone liked her very much. But no one could have imagined such a scene in the grave of the reciting girl. The people saw the scene and started reciting Tauba Tauba Allahu Akbar. Then a scholar was called and advice was taken from him. And then some information was revealed about the girl, which was really amazing. What had happened that day? That incident was really amazing. Seeing the scene of that girl's grave, everyone was seeking refuge with Allah Almighty. Friends, I request you, you must share the video with your mother, brothers, sisters, relatives, friends and friends, and you don't drag the video and watch till the very end because today's event is going to be very important. But before we start the video, let's make a little dua. Oh Allah, make us all owners of wealth, deliver us from diseases and grant us to pray five times a day. Donate. I request you, whether you're Hindu or Muslim, please give a like to the video. On the day that Quran reciter died, Everyone was surprised that the girl died at such a young age. Everyone was very sorry and saddened by the death of the girl. Then the girl was bathed and shrouded. Then the funeral was performed, kept aside and from that cot to lower the body of that girl into the grave. When the people went to lift the body, then a strange incident happened. When the people went to lift the body of the girl to lower it into the grave, suddenly in the grave from I don't know where, the terrible snake came. The eyes of all the people present there were raised in their foreheads when they saw the snake in the grave. They did not know what to do. They tried to drive the snake away, but the snake from there was no way to move. People were worried that, what is the story? The girl whom we came to bury, she was a very good girl. She used to recite Quran and we could hear it. Then why snake came in her grave? But what happened next and what was revealed is even more surprising. So let us now give you the full story. Let me explain. The girl who is being talked about in today's video, that girl's name is Nishi. That girl was very well mannered. She behaved well with everyone in the village. Nishi respected the elders and loved the children. The people of the village knew Nishi very well. Nishi used to recite Quran every day and everyone in the village could hear the sound of Nishi reciting Quran and everyone was fascinated to hear Nishi reciting Quran every day and loved him very much. The people of the village loved Nishi very much and respected him a lot, but something about Nishi. There was, which the villagers didn't know, Nishi's words were known only to his family. Nishi's family consisted of his father and mother, his grandmother and grandfather died when Nishi was young and his two aunts were married, living with Nishita's parents. Karate, Nishi was also much more beautiful to look at, once Nishi. When he went to learn to recite the Quran, Huzur was very pleased to hear his voice and his reputation was high. So Nishi used to recite the Quran loudly at home every day to gain fame, so that people could hear the sound of his recitation of the Quran and were impressed, and as a result, he... And so it happened, Nishi started reciting the Quran aloud every day at home, and people became more and more fascinated by his voice but Nishi used to only recite the Quran and did no other worship. He didn't pray, he didn't do zikr azkar, he didn't fast, he recited the words of the Quran only to gain fame in front of people. Nishi's parents told him a lot to pray five times a day and to worship Allah Almighty. But he, he was not willing to worship because he was addicted to gaining fame when her parents were very sad about this matter. That girl did not pray a single day in her life. Some days passed by doing this. She was able to gain fame from the people of the area, but suddenly one day the girl died. After Nishi's death, the people of the village were very surprised and saddened, as everyone in the village loved Nishi very much and considered her a very good girl. People came to Nishi's house with their broken hearts. Nishi was bathed and shrouded. Hall. And then his janazah was performed, when he was taken to the cemetery after the janazah was over, and an attempt was made to lower his body into the grave, a strange thing happened. To the astonishment of all present, the people saw a terrible snake in the grave. 
There is, but a little earlier inside that grave there was nothing. The people were surprised, but then everyone tried hard to drive away the snake. But no one could drive away the snake, finding no way. The people called a scholar of the village, and they then showed the incident to the scholar. The scholars saw the incident. He understood the matter a lot, but after that he called the girl's family so that the girl's father appeared there in front of everyone. The scholars then asked the girl's father, tell what the real story was. The girl's father bowed his head and let out tears and said, my daughter must have been a good girl. She always behaved well with everyone. She was never rude to anyone and she recited the Quran, but she never prayed in her life. She did not worship God Almighty. She did not fast, did not do Zakir Azkar. He only recited the Quran. After hearing the incident, Alan understood and the scholar began to say, Allah Almighty, he sent us to this world only to worship him. So we should worship our Lord Almighty Allah the Most High, perform the five daily prayers, perform dhikr, fast, and read the Quran. But the worship that will be done only by reciting the Quran is that no, we must pray five times. Because prayer is obligatory. We must worship Allah, not only by reciting the Quran, but then Alim Sahib said, put the girl's body in the grave in this condition. Then put the girl's body in the grave. It's taken down, may Allah Almighty save us from the punishment of the grave and grant us the grace to lead a good life, Amin. Have you ever wondered what is the true essence of love? How does it intertwine with the divine? As we delve into the realm of the spiritual, we find that love is not just a human emotion, but a profound principle that governs the universe. Love is a divine current that flows through everything, binding us together, leading us towards unity and harmony. In the context of spirituality, love takes on even more profound significance. It becomes a beacon of light guiding us on our spiritual journey, a compass leading us to the divine. And in the tapestry of Islamic spirituality, this divine love is beautifully personified by Allah, the source of all love. Allah, in his infinite wisdom and compassion, has a special love for certain types of people. These are not the high and mighty, but rather those who embody the virtues that are most dear to him. So, who are these people that Allah holds dear? Let's explore. Firstly, we find that Allah loves the humble and the grateful. Picture this. A man, once prosperous, finds himself fallen on hard times, yet he never allows his spirit to be crushed. He remains humble, acknowledging that his previous prosperity was not of his own making, but a blessing from Allah. He doesn't boast about past glories, nor does he fall into despair over his present circumstances. Similarly, he constantly expresses gratitude for the blessings he still has. He appreciates the gift of life, the beauty of nature, and the love of his family. He understands that every sunrise is a blessing, every breath a gift from Allah. This humility and gratitude endear him to Allah. They are not signs of weakness, but of strength. They demonstrate an understanding that we are not the masters of our fate, but are dependent on the benevolence of Allah. Humility and gratitude, then, are paths to divine love. Secondly, Allah cherishes those who are patient and just. Consider the parable of the tree and the storm. The tree, standing tall and firm, faces the storm with patience. It endures the harsh winds, the relentless rain and the biting cold, never once asking why it must suffer such trials. It simply waits, knowing that the storm is temporary and that peace will return. This is the virtue of patience. Now imagine the storm as a person, wielding power and control, yet choosing to act with fairness. The storm could easily uproot the tree, but it doesn't. It tests the tree, yes, but it never destroys it. This is the virtue of justice. When we emulate these qualities, we endear ourselves to Allah. We become like the tree, patient in adversity and like the storm, just in our actions. Patience and justice, therefore, are keys to unlocking divine love. So, what have we learned about the people Allah loves? We've delved into the depths of divine love and surfaced with a profound understanding. It's clear that Allah cherishes those who are humble, for humility is the first step towards recognizing the greatness of the divine. We've also discovered that gratitude holds a special place in Allah's heart. Being thankful for every blessing, big or small, is a sign of a heart that recognizes Allah's boundless generosity. Then comes patience, a virtue that's not easy to cultivate, yet it's highly valued, for it's through patience we learn to trust in Allah's wisdom and timing. Last but not least, Allah loves those who are just. 
Upholding justice, even when it's challenging, is a testament to our faith and commitment to Allah's teachings. In striving to embody these qualities, we too can hope to become beloved to Allah. Remember, the path to divine love is paved with humility, gratitude, patience, and justice. If you like our today's video, please like, comment, and subscribe. And if you have any opinion about the video, please comment. See you in the next video. Allah Hafez.